God in the cut, man. Drinking Smoothie King right now. <sighs> Why does it feel like this shit too sweet? But, uh, sweet potatoes is cracking. I ain't gonna lie. Make some, make some sweet potatoes. I'm not talking about shit. You feel me? And then also, I want to tell y'all niggas. Subscribe! Feel me? A lot more content on the way. A lot more shit on the way. Daily reminder. Daily reminder is shit. Got on more in the cut. Woo, woo, woo. Don't fall, nigga. Shit. Got on more in the cut. Oh, Mr. Omar. Woo. Saw a little self therapy session. Feel me? Lately, I've just been feeling like, uh, I've just been bothering up a lot of shit. But also, I'm not gonna lie, I, I just been so busy, I can't keep up with my emotion. Like, my busyness level is like this, my emotion is just like right here. Like, I, I could care less about the shit or whatever. That shit really don't concern me. That shit really don't concern me. I had to turn that fan off so I could be able to hear me. That shit fuck up my audio. But, uh, like that really, that shit really don't concern me at all. I just been more like on, uh, just trying to stay focused and shit on what I'm doing and my goals and all that. You feel me? The usual shit. Uh, shit, grind as grind as hard as I can to get where I need to be at. You know, no doubt, no questions, no none of that. If I uh, I need to do something, I'm like this to it. You feel me? I might sit back. I, I do have the moments I sit back. I feel like I'm holding myself back. And I realize what the fuck am I doing? Like, if I don't do this in that time, that time I'm gonna miss that, I'm gonna miss that deadline to post a video, that deadline to do that, that deadline to go make go bust moves. I really need to make need a bust, whatever. Feel me? I feel like I need to connect with myself on a whole nother level with beyond me. Like. I'm already like this with my spirit, my soul, and all that. But it's like another level I need to reach. Like, if I need to do something, I'm on it. Not start 30 minutes, then do it. You know, shit like, little, it's just it's just a little shit that's uh, fucking with me. But it's completely normal because uh, my mastery at self-discipline is coming. Scaling, scaling, scaling higher and higher. Day by day. Every brick I lay is scaling higher and higher. I'm past all the don't nobody love me shit. Don't nobody, I don't have no friends shit. I don't, I don't care about none of that shit. That shit don't concern me. If anybody don't want to be part of my life, the door. That's that's the closet, but y'all can see it. It's, it look like a door. The door, my nigga. I don't care less about none of the problems. All the all the second second dimensional shit, third dimensional shit that y'all niggas care about. I have no pleasure. I don't find no interest in none of that shit no more. I'm so beyond myself. It's unreal. I, I'm emotionless to like shit I don't give a fuck about. But then I look up to these dudes that's, that's, that's loaded, fucking rich out their mind. And I can relate to these guys. And that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a, That's an amazing thing. Let me tell you why. If you could connect to somebody that's successful and you could you could feel like you understand them and all this, you're going to be successful. 100%. Tell you why, bro. I don't believe in coincidence. A lot of y'all do. Like, oh, he was poor just like me. What a coincidence. No, motherfucker. That's a sign. You could be right him. You could be like him if you continue with the path of 
self-mastery, bro. Self-mastery, self-development, self-officiating, bro. You could be on a path to success, motherfucker. But you don't realize that you're so dumb, stuck up your head, playing video games all day, jerking off, nigga, doing all types of weird ass shit that you're not supposed to be doing. Why is it so normal to you to listen and follow what everybody else doing? Well, my friend do it, so it's cool. I'll do it. Your friend is a fucking loser, dude. But you could be a winner up here, and you could be a winner within, bro. You stop being a follower, bro. This is this is the biggest situation I talk about, and I ain't really bring this to nobody because I know nobody understand me because they all doing it. Niggas chase pussy without even knowing they chasing pussy. All right, so let me put it like this. Why do your whole surrounding got to be about being with a chick? This is this is what they grown to do. They put this shit in the movies. They put this shit everywhere. Your, your, your dad tell you this shit. Your cousin tell you this shit. Your uncle tell you this shit. Your mom tell you, oh, bring, bring, a, good, good, bring a good girl home, honey. Uh, make sure you talk to her. Make sure she's a good one, though. Everybody grooms you as a man to chase pussy. And I'm not lying. Stop doing that. They're going to think you're weird, bro, first of all. If you're not smooth, you don't got charisma, you don't got no self, no self discipline, no self love for yourself, you might you might get cheated on. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm keeping it 100 with you. This is me being 100 right now. I'm not holding nothing back. I'm being 100. It's not good to chase, bro. It's always good to keep your eye on it. Like, oh, yeah, I see her over there, but I got to do this. Oh, she calling me right now, but I got to edit. Oh, she said she loved me. What did I do to make her love me? Y'all got to think with this and not this, motherfucker. Like, literally, bro. And the reason why I'm so on y'all and the reason why I'm cousin, because that's only how y'all can understand me, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, that's only how y'all gonna understand me, bro. Yeah, I know you young, bro. I'm young, too. But you overcoming your worst fear is what's gonna get you at the, at your peak, bro. At your top. Your top slot, dog. If your worst fear, your worst fear is being single and not talking to any chicks and not getting no coochie for six months, what you need to do? You need to cut yourself off. Like, okay. I got to prove to myself I'll be fine. No porn, no none of this. No bad habits. Or no chasing chicks. No pussy for six months. If you're not willing to face your your worst fear face on, bro. You can't do, you can't do what you really want to do in life, bro. You can't even get past the simple first step. To me, it was losing weight. I didn't care about none of the shit y'all care about. Bitches. Money and all that. I didn't care about none of that shit. Nigga, I was just a poor kid that's looking for hope and happiness in my life, bro. You niggas is privilege, bro. Real life privilege, bro. You got everything handed to you, bro. You get everything you want, kid. Son. That's why I'm about to start calling niggas, son. Just like that, to your face, over the phone, son. You're privileged, bro. To somebody that ain't had nothing. You're not going to want nothing but happiness. Like, I heard Mike Tyson say this. He said the kids in Africa don't want nothing. You know why? They're not expecting nothing. That's why they're happy. I wasn't expecting shit, bro. Everything I want, everything I needed, I had to get it on my own, bro. I'm not talking about food and water. I guess my parents provide me food, water, clothes when I needed them. All that shit. I didn't start, like, to be honest with y'all, just, just to clarify things. I didn't start getting shit till I was like older. And I was like when I I really didn't care about the shit no more. I wanted all the iPhones and all the clothes when I was younger. I didn't get that shit. I'm like, why why the, why can't I get this? Everybody in my class got fresh pair of J's on. I'm with some busted ass LeBrons on, baggy ass clothes on, look like I got my got my brother's clothes on and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, why why can I have this shit? Why can't I go to school in some fresh ass J's? You feel me? Why can't I you know what I'm saying? I used to be like that. But then, bro, you know what happened? Life struck me. I was a badass kid. You went out the link with ass kid. And then what happens? Life struck you, bro. God touched me and said, nigga, this not the lifestyle you meant to live, bro. 
Let's switch over. Just switch this path over. Let's, let me let me give you a faith, but you got to find it. And my faith was YouTube. YouTube saved me from all this shit. Instead of going outside, doing bad shit with my friends every time my boys call me every day. Hey, bro, you coming out today? Hey, yeah, we about to get into some shit. I already know what that meant, nigga. We about to start breaking that house. Type of shit, bro. The, sh the dumb little shit I was on. You feel me? That I'm not, I'm now not on. And some of these niggas are still on that shit. I swear to God, God forbid, I'm not lying. They still on that shit. Bro, I left it alone, bro. I said, I seen nothing but jail and death in that path, bro. I was in a juvenile a hundred times. I'll probably be dead by now. I'm 18 now, bro. I'll be, I'll probably be dead by now, bro. I'm not lying to you. I'm, I'm pouring my soul out to this one because I want y'all to really feel where I'm coming from when I say, bro, believe me, I understand you, dog. I was where you at. I was 16 before, nigga. I was 14 before. I was that little nigga, that badass little nigga, busted up shoes, Android. You feel me? I was that person, dog. So don't sit here and try to tell me I don't understand. Like, your problems and your situations, and my nigga. I just, I just went past that, bro. I forgave and move on, bro, but I did forget. As I'm, as I'm pouring my heart out to you right now, I did forget that. That's why I'm still telling you that shit. You feel me? So I want to let y'all know. I bed past all that shit. I'm looking for something bigger than me, bigger than human, bigger than soul, bigger than anything, bro. Ain't bigger than anything you could ever wish you could attain, bro. It's because, nigga, I got hope. I got hope in a motherfucking go. I don't have nothing else. I don't have money to give out. I don't have coupons to give out. I ain't got nothing to sell to you right now. All I got is hope in a motherfucking go, nigga. That's all I got to give. And I don't give a fuck what nobody think or who trying to get in my way. Because it's not happening, nigga. I'm not letting nobody hold me back, nigga. Not no more, bro. Fuck a friend. Fuck a fake family member, nigga. Fuck a fake supporter, nigga. You got to be 10 toes down for yourself. You got to do what you got to do for yourself, nigga. And I mean that, bro. Nobody going to do it for you, nigga. Pick up that camera. Start recording. Pick up that pick up that mic, bro. Start start, re start recording music, nigga. What you produce? You producing? You, you shoot videos for people? Pick up that camera. Start shooting videos for niggas. Push that. Whoever you supporting, whoever your main man to get your shit out there, how them niggas work 10 times harder than they ever worked before, nigga? Because it's time it's, it's, it's time for that season to grow, nigga. It's winter time. Because, nigga, when it's time to get summer, nigga, it's, it's hot out, bro. N number heat. Number heat out. Number heat. Hard work all through the summer. Hard work all through the winter, nigga. All seasons long. Nigga, I change, I change with the seasons when it comes to work, work reasoning, bro. I don't change at all as a man. Same, same attitude as last season. Same attitude as last month. Last year, nigga. Like, you know how I am, bro. And recently, I stopped believing, uh, I stopped believing, uh, help, bro. Because, look, let me tell you, help is a temporary thing, bro. It's gonna be, it's gonna be moments in your life, you gotta do shit by yourself. So, why you keep looking at that next nigga, like, bro, we gotta do this. In reality, what you wanna say is, nigga, I gotta do this. I'll be back, bro. Dap up. Love. Feel me? Gone. Like, you gotta go hustle, nigga. It's whatever. Nigga, and the niggas around you, they really fuck with you, nigga. They gonna understand. They won't be like, bro, why you do that by yourself, bro? We could have did that better. Da, 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 da. None of that, bro. They just, re they just respect you and they keep it pushing, bro. Keep it G with you. It's a lot of shit I go through through life already. To sit here and try to come on, come on here and try to tell you some fake shit, nigga. Be 100, bro. Your favorite YouTuber probably a buster, bro. I'm being 100 with you. They're not gonna come on here and tell you no real shit, bro. They're gonna tell you that pity pad bill did this to Jenny, nigga, shit, man. Get out of here, folks. Feel me? I'm just keeping it a thousand with you, bro. Because anybody that been through some real shit knows what I got to lose. What I got to lie for. I did shit. You did shit. We all did shit. We not perfect. The motherfucker next to you not perfect. Your bitch not perfect. Nigga, your mom and dad not perfect. My mom and dad not perfect. My bitch ain't perfect. My nigga next to me, my nigga sleep behind me not perfect. None of us is perfect, nigga. Does that mean you judge them consistently or what they do? No. Let niggas breathe. Being a man is hard enough, bro. You think niggas want? You think niggas want to do shit they don't want to do, nigga? Nah, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, bro. Cause though you you know when you up, you gonna talk about that shit like it ain't nothing. You gonna have a good ass laugh about it. 
Chin, hey, bro, remember when I got locked up and went to the police station, nigga? Y'all niggas was all down there with some t-shirts talking about free money, free me with my name money. Like, nigga, you gonna be cracking up with y'all, all, all be in the room cracking up with a box of popcorn, just kicking it, bro. Remember, talking, reminiscing about the old times, nigga. Like, for real, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, be grateful for what you got right now. Be grateful for what happens in your life, even if you're in the juvenile watching this, little nigga. Be grateful, because when you get out 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you're going to be laughing about this shit. Like, man, I was a juvenile, man, off of robbing this, this old lady car, man. God damn, I was in there for like two, three years. Like, fuck. Like, you feel me? Like, I was in there stuck. Like, damn, you going to sit back smoking weed with your nigga reminiscing, sitting back chilling. If you don't smoke, you know, sitting back, you know, just chilling with your nigga reminiscing. Like, bro, that shit was pretty crazy. <laughs> like, you going to be kicking it. Like, man, just be happy, man. I just want to see nigga smile, bro. Because the shit you going through is not final, bro. Only thing is final is death, bro. Bedros Cooley, uh, Cooley and said, You know what I'm saying? Bedros Cooley, he said it. Only thing is final is death, bro. If you're not dead, you got a lot of life to live, bro. No matter what you're going through right now, bro. Keep your head up. I'm high on my pedal still right now. I'm high in my mind. I'm high physically, bro. You got to do the same thing in order to get what you want. You got to feel like you already at that level. You just forcing the people to see that vision on that level you already on, bro. That pedestal you on right now, you on it in your head, in your head physically. But you got to make other people see your dream, your vision, your aspirations, your goals, and all that other shit. You feel me? I don't believe in dreams. Dreams is temporary, nigga. Goals is final, bro. Because when it's, once it's a goal, you going to keep going now. It don't matter if it takes four years, five years, nigga. You going to keep going until you get that goal. Oh, shit, I finally got my big... My big lawyer uh, case seal thing. Oh, shit, I finally uh, closed my first, you know what I'm saying? My first uh, judge case. It, you know, no matter what. Love yourself. Self-love is so underrated and so downplayed now. It's a lot of motherfuckers out here would tell you, you got to find love. No, no, no. Before you find love, I'm a young nigga telling you this too. Before you find love, you got to find love into yourself first, bro. And for the motherfuckers out there faking like you working on yourself, how I know I'm going to call you on your bullshit. It don't take you six years to work on yourself to be in a relationship, motherfucker. That means you grieving over something. You grieving over something, you need to hit the gym hard, female or male. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you want somebody to talk to, text in my comment box. I'm going to send you my Instagram, and we're going to chat up, because you know why? Therapy God. That's why, nigga. I'm therapy Jesus around this bitch. You ain't hear me, nigga? So therapy, nigga. Part three. I hope y'all enjoyed, man. God. Out the cut, man. <sighs> I smell like testosterone, bro. Hey, I'm gonna work out here, eh? I'm sorry, bro. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm too in to my... My lifestyle, bro. It's like funny. Like, you can see it in my eyes. Like, I take this shit so serious. I take myself so serious. I take everything serious. Road to a thousand. Hey, let yo, go. Oh.